Hello friends, welcome back to the online classroom. Today we are going to see the simulation of dual voltage power supply or dual power supply. So in this dual power supply, you need a positive voltage also and negative voltage also. So positive voltage and negative voltage. So that is why it is called as a dual power supply. So in this dual power supply, uh, now we are designing a dual power supply which will provide us a positive 15 volts and a negative 15 volts okay so you can uh, later uh, do this variable power supply also so you can uh, try this in your home so first we'll see how to make it as a fixed voltage positive and negative that is, that is dual power supply so here we are giving this so uh, on the connection i'll show you so these are all basic connections so first i will show you show you from this side so this is a sign view uh, sign generator so i will show you here so here so this is a part sign so this is very analogous to our ac input supply which is present at your home okay so from msb so this is very analogous 50 hertz to 30 volts ac signal so we are giving it to the see here transformer so now here you can see the frequency is 50 hertz okay we know that the ac supply the frequency is 50 hertz but you can see there is a uh, amplitude of 320 so why i have written the amplitude of 330 here so the answer is because whatever 230 you are getting in your home so ac supply so that 230 is RMS quantity of that voltage. So this this is RMS. So 230 is RMS. So we have to convert this RMS into peak value. So the peak value for that your AC supply main is 320 volts. So this is only you have to consider while giving a AC main supply to your simulations. So whenever you are using is using AC main supply in your simulations, just remember to give 50 hertz frequency and 320 volts of the amplitude. Then next is the step down transformer. So here you can see the step down transformer. So you can see there is a primary inductance, total secondary inductance. So with whatever value you write here. So it will convert the step up or step down the voltage from primary. So these are the default values you have to take. So I have written this. Okay. So this is a transformer. So here you can, uh, you already know this is the rectifier which converts AC into DC. So you have written AC into DC. So now we will connect this supply. Okay, from here you are getting DC and from here also you are getting this. So we are directly connecting this here. And here. Okay, so this is positive part here and this is negative part here. So that is why we are taking a output from here. So now uh, these are two filtering capacitors. So this is the IC 7815. So this is fixed positive 15 volts voltage regulator IC. So it will provide a fixed positive 15 volts 78 series and this is the fixed negative 15 volts 7915 that is fixed negative 15 volts and uh, the two filters are there okay capacitor filters at the input side two capacitor filters are there at the output side one the resistor is there load resistor R1 and R2 is there okay so uh, I will just show you this working of this IC so there are three phase for this IC 78 series or 79 series. So first is input, second is ground, and third is output. So very easy. So we have connected the second number pin ground here. Okay. So we have got given number one pin input voltage and we have taken output voltage from number three pin. So okay. So in 79 series there is a small change. So ground is for pin number one input is for pin number 2 and output is for pin number 3 okay so this is the uh, setup circuit setup and now we'll check 
whether we have connected all the circuitry uh, correctly or not okay so we want a plus 15 volts here and minus 15 volts here now we'll see uh, just play the simulation and you can see here i will just zoom in so that you can see so this is plus 15 volts here and minus 15 volts here so now uh, we are getting our desired output of that is dual power supply from 78 and 79 series okay so uh, using different types of ICs you can design different uh, power supplies by using LM317 you can design a variable power supply or the IC72 LM723 is there so you can use that so you can use instead of if you want plus 5 and minus 5 then you can use 7805 and 7905 so I hope you all understand the concept behind this dual power supply positive and negative power supply okay thank you for watching the video